Hello, everyone. I haven't been super inspired to make content um, with everything going on in my life, and uh, all of a sudden I just feel like I want to talk about, um, well, sorry about Tom. All of a sudden I just feel like I want to talk about the ways that my style has changed since discovering, or not really discovering, but coming to terms with my queerness and being a lesbian because obviously my channel is centered around style and developing personal style, um, becoming more embodied and more in tune with yourself through your style, etc., etc. <laughs> um, along with the whole mental health aspect of all of it um, and witnessing the narratives that prevent you from expressing yourself fully as you are. And so I just feel like I wanna talk a little bit about my style evolution since allowing myself to say like yeah i'm queer i want to show you a few outfits that are my favorites to wear these days the ones that make me feel most like myself and most comfortable um sometimes they are in alignment with my kibby type sometimes they're not and that's okay it's more about how i feel in them and uh less about following any rules so i'm just gonna do a few outfits that I've been wearing lately and just show you those, do a little dress up. It's really dark right now, it's cloudy and rainy and everything, so my apologies about the lighting and everything, but listen, when inspiration strikes these days, I have to just take it because I've been very depresso. In the midst of all of the beautiful and good things, there are also just some really heavy things in my life at the moment, and I'm just, they're just all thrown in the same little cauldron and being mixed up together into the most delightful soup. So, the end. That's that. Um, let's get into some of these outfits. I want it to be quick and easy and fun and chatty and all that. So, let's do it. Okay, so I thought I'd just start with what I'm wearing today. Hi, Mila. I thought I'd just start with what I'm wearing today. I've been um, wearing a lot of band t-shirts. So, this is one that I got recently at a Lu Lucy Degas concert in Memphis. So I've been wearing this one. I've been wearing this one kind of underneath everything just because it's so comfortable. It was a really long shirt initially and that I cut it, obviously. Just grabbing a few of my staples. For example, like my style has become a little bit more oversized. I think I mentioned this in the last video in the vlog. My busted old Vejas. But yeah, like I just, I wore this to walk my dogs. Today. It's been a lot of like t-shirts and jeans and um, sneakers for casual wear, especially now that it's gotten a bit colder. I'm not wearing my dad sandals as much. So this is what I was wearing today. So it's just a band tee. These are some ripped jeans from Target that I got a long time ago and my sneakers. And then this jacket is something that I got at Columbia. It's a men's raincoat. It caught my eye because it reminded me of something that Audrey Hepburn wore back in the day. It's like the anorak style jackets and I was like oh that's really similar to what she would wear so I knew it would be in my lines to wear it. And then literally the only accessories that I wear right now are my necklaces. I have this necklace here from Linear. Got my earrings from Majuri. I'm only wearing one hoop today but I wear like double up hoop. Um, and I got these new pieces of jewelry actually from Pamela Card, but they're for more like dressed up looks. So I'll show you some of those. Um, and I'll show you that jewelry as well because I think it's really beautiful and I'm really grateful that it was sent to me. So I want to show it to you, obviously. But yeah, this is what I was wearing today with my fanny pack. This is basically the only bag that I really use ever. So that's the truth of the matter. And this is the look and I love it. And I meant to say that I've been wearing the, my denim jacket, denim shirt, constantly. Ever since I got it, I've been wearing it with everything, whether it goes with it or not. But I think it goes with everything, so I just, I literally look like this every day. Oh, and to switch up the vibe a little bit, I've been really spending money, not really spending money, because it's a pretty affordable brand. I've been trying out underwear from Parade, which is a, a sustainable and 
uh, ethical brand. They have a lot of beautiful causes that they support, especially around LGBTQ issues and things like that. And so I've been trying out products from them. They reached out to me and provided me with some free underwear and things like that. But I ended up just splurging and buying a whole bunch of stuff from them uh, and meaning to talk to you about it. So I want to show you a few pieces that I got from Parade. All of my outfits feel a little bit more fun because I'm finally wearing uh, nicer underwear. So that's something that's changed with my style. Like I, I just kind of allow myself to wear things that feel a little bit more like, ooh, underneath, um, which is really funny to me to think that that's not something that I did previously, but I was really protective of my body while I was married. So I never wanted to look attractive or have the wrong assumption during that time of like, oh yeah, I'm doing this because I want to be intimate, not because I just want to feel cute or sexy for myself. And like, that's a real thing. Like just wanting to feel like, oh yes, like I feel really good in my skin and I'm just going to wear the things that I want to wear um, because I, I feel like it, not for anybody's attention or approval. And so that's how I feel now wearing all my stuff from Parade. So I'm like going to be subtle, but I'm wearing these. They're like briefs. They have like a sheer panel here. And then um, they're just, they're really cute. They're red. And since I'm on my period, I like to wear red to celebrate that. I think I was on my period in the last video I did too, which is really funny to me. But yeah, so I just picked up a few things from Parade and I want to show you how I style them. One of them is this bralette. This one right here. It's very cute. I'll put the name of it on the screen. But it has this really cute detail here. Kind of a little bit of lace, but not so much that it feels very like romantic as much as it feels kind of cute, cute. A small little detail that I think is really precious. I'm just gonna throw on the look real quick. Here's the bralette. See, it's very like simple, very supportive. It's like a long line technically, so there's like enough space down here, but it's really supportive actually when I like, I can zhuzh it different ways. Like I can wear it higher up, I can wear it a little lower if I need it to be lower to give myself a little something I'm a little small girl itty bitty so I I don't necessarily have much to emphasize there but it feels really nice to wear something like this and then the next thing that I have from them is actually a sheer bodysuit and I'm going to show you that real quick because I think it's so cool and I love it check that out isn't that so cute Ooh, here's how it looks on this is with my trousers and I'm going to belt it Oh, these trousers are really cool, and I feel like I could wear them more low, and maybe I will. That's something that I wanted to talk about a little bit, too, is that in a lot of my previous outfits, I was really trying to emphasize yin and really just bring out whatever curve I could possibly find on my body, and now I really don't do that anymore as much. Like, I'm much more comfortable just accentuating my elongation or kind of the more straight narrowness of my silhouette. So I have this bodysuit now. This is from pa Parade. I almost said Parrot. So this is from Parade as well. So the bralette and the bodysuit. And look, it's so cute. I want to get a little closer. But you can like see my tattoo through the side. You can see my little snail. It's really soft. It's like a thong style as well. So you don't get any weird lines. And then it's got a low V back there. It can, or like it's like a scoop in the back, which is really, really cute. Cuff my trousers. Trousers were the first thing that I decided I needed to get. And I thought, you know, it's just cause I'm from Boy Gameen. Um, and all flamboyant gamines should have good trousers. Um, I stand by that fully. That's a real thing to me. Getting a pair of trousers was like the first time I felt like really cool and like really embodied. So this is a look that I love. And when I first styled it, I actually wore it with my sandals, my dad's sandals. Now I'm gonna try them with my Mi Solo Chelsea boots and see how I feel. These, and that's... Just a spot, that's just from having dogs. Oh, it's cute with the boot. Okay, so here it is with the boots. It'll look cute with the jacket. Oh, maybe it would be cool with a vest. Absolutely, mm-hmm, 100%. That's really freaking cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, let's try it with this vest too. This is an oversized vest that I picked up in my last video. Yeah, that's so fun. And then to tie in the black, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and I'm gonna tuck this a little bit so you can see the black belt too. That's cool. That's really cool. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Look at me. Yeah, see, I love this. I love it. Those are some of the things that I started wearing after realizing that I'm gay. Oh, let me show you that Pamela Carr jewelry because I think that would look really good with this um, bodysuit situation. So we've got this one. It's a Venus. It's a Venus. I'm your Venus. I'll put the name of the jewelry in the description below and I'll put in some like cutouts of some better images of it just because the lighting is so bad right now. And then I also have these hoops from Pamela. And the weight of them is really heavy. And I kind of feel it in my ears, but not too bad. But that's the earrings. Look how stunning. They have like such a beautiful texture to them as well. And I love that. Texture is really important to me in this season, um, more so than it has ever been in the past. Because of the links that are on this and like the kind of chain that it is, I have a lot of versatility in how high or low the charms are gonna sit. Here it is on its look like longest setting. That's so cool. And then I could also, if I wanted, I could wear it like kind of at a choker, choker length. So I can wear it higher up if I want, which I think looks really cool. Look at that. That is so neat. I think that's really beautiful like that actually. I'm gonna keep that on for a second. But yes, so those are my jewelry pieces from Pamela Card. I'll have those linked below as well if you're interested in perusing her site. She's got solid gold pieces as well as gold for May, depending on your price range right now. But beautiful pieces from Pamela Card. And I'm so, I feel so lucky to have them. They're stunning. Another thing I want to do with the bodysuit is like have it on as a layering piece and not the main piece like this. So let me show you how I would do that with my cargo pants which are my favorite piece in my whole wardrobe i have to keep myself from wearing them every day but it doesn't really matter to me to wear them every day at the same time you know what i mean if you've seen them before you love them but they are my favorites because they make me feel so gay that's why i love them the most i knew that the moment i got cargo pants i was like going to be self-actualizing and um transcending my physical form as one of my friends likes to say and um i think i think i've done it so again i could wear them as the main and honestly i think i'm gonna wear this this weekend for halloween because i have two costumes in mind one of them is gonna be a trash can it's just a play on words trash fran <laughs> I think that'll be just really silly. The other one is gonna be just with my cargo pants and literally this and it's gonna be like a knockoff Kim Possible look because I'm going to a dance party and I want to be able to move, you know? I want to be able to like actually dance. Something I've been wearing a lot, my Looney Tunes shirt I showed you in the last video, but I wanted to try it layered like this and see how I feel. Mm hmm so I would wear it like this like so I'm just like I said I'm wearing a lot of oversized pieces recently my dogs are like staring at me like what the frick frack are you doing brand so here it is again with my cargos a little hand in the pocket moment what do you think I think this one's really fun and cool and I'm gonna definitely be layering this sheer suit with it and honestly let's see how it feels with my necklace too because it is a dressed up necklace so honestly that's kind of fun it feels kind of dog taggy which goes with this sort of like military vibe honestly we should i should put my air force shirt on to really complete the vibe oh yeah <laughs> there it is kids but yeah i wear stuff like this to work and it just has kind of became my style it feels good I feel good. I don't think about what I'm wearing. I just exist. And that's important to me. Okay, so last thing I wanted to show you involves uh, a piece that I was like scared to wear for a little while, but now I love to wear. And that's a pair of overalls that I received from Ozma back in the spring. Initially, I was like so scared to wear them because they're technically a little bit too big on me. I felt like they were too big because they didn't have waist emphasis. And they were just like one 
oversized long line and I was starting to feel like oh no like these aren't flamboyant to me at all and I can't wear these and they don't look right and they're cool and everything they're like a cool look but I'm not going to practically wear them until I started wearing my like huge shirts and all the shirts were finally like long enough to cover basically my whole entire torso and um, loom space and so the spaces that were in the overalls weren't as prominent or didn't reveal my body anymore because it's like if I were to wear like a crop top with them or just like a bra or like something like that it wasn't creating the most appropriate look for what I was going for and it was cute but it really needed to be cinched in more if I was gonna wear a crop top with them but when I wear really big shirts with them I actually really love the look it feels very youthful very childlike and so I feel like it captures the essence of the gamine more than the lines of the gamine and so I rely on that energy more than actually going for something that is a little bit more sassy chic or whatever the, the silly branding is um so i'm just gonna show you real quick so these ones and they're white i'm a barista and so they're also really dangerous to wear basically anywhere for me um <laughs> but i'm gonna throw them on anyway i wore them to work the other day actually and i didn't make too big of a mess on them but then i realized you know life is too short life is too short and um i should just wear whatever the freak frack i want this is an outfit that i wore to see Copeland play in a cave and I felt so cute in it. I wore it with my sandals. Like I mentioned earlier, it's getting chilly here. So I haven't been wearing my sandals as often, but I've been wearing my sneakers more. Look at them. I feel like I'm ready to paint your house. You want me to come over and paint your house? So they're really cute. They're really baggy. And then obviously, out. the denim shirt they're so cute oh. Th this is a big change for me I feel like my style has actually become more personal because it's based off of what I actually have and wear what I actually feel really comfortable in. I feel like it really expresses my relationship with my sexuality and my womanhood as well. So I don't feel as stifled in my creativity as I did, I guess, previously when it came to my style. I think I was really trying to make sure that you all saw me as somebody who knew what I was talking about, especially when it came to style, when it comes to kibby and everything. That's all well and good until it starts to suffocate you. And I. I have programming that can become very dogmatic, very rules-based, rules-oriented, um, because I grew up as an evangelical. So I have that default in me, and I have to really be cognizant of it all when I'm starting to learn about new things. My tendency is to put myself in a box and keep every other concept out because it's not safe. Yeah, that started happening with my style too, I think where I was like, no, this isn't gamine enough, so I'm not gonna wear it, even if I love it. Something that I talk to my clients about all the time when we're doing their body typing analysis and even just on our like little video calls and things is that the point of learning about your body and being connected to your body is so that you can have this like dynamic and flowing relationship with it. Not so you can say you're only this one way and so this is how I'm going to dress you forever. Style is so fluid and I'm learning that a lot of things in life are fluid, apparently. It's just so important to be able to allow yourself to change as you see fit. Allow yourself to reevaluate and ask yourself, is this supporting who I am now? Because you can look at something and say, no, this was really good for me at one point and understand that it might not be the best for you at the stage of life you're in now. I really love the way that my style has evolved now that I'm not trying to perform femininity the way that I used to. Honestly, I have felt more beautiful than I've ever felt in my life since coming to terms with everything that I have and since having a safe space to exist in my own body and my own home. And I could talk about that forever and ever, forever and a half, multiple forevers. You see Tom back there? He's chewing on one of my laundry balls, so I have to go. That's all I wanted to share with you, I guess, today. I hope you find some inspiration in the outfits that I showed you and some of the silhouettes that I shared with you. If you liked anything that you saw that, like, 
represented some brands like Parade or Ozma or Pamela Card. I have affiliate links and things like that down below. You can support them, support me. They're all sustainable businesses, small businesses, women-owned businesses, and so you can feel really good about supporting them too. Not to mention everything is just beautiful quality and makes you feel really good when you wear it. So just gonna say that. And if you'd like to work with me, I offer personal style consultations, personal style development services, body typing consultations, even just like little video or email correspondences. If you have like specific questions or anything like that, look at him. It's so ridiculous. Look at this guy. And you just want to pick my brain a little bit is what I was gonna say. But yeah, I love you all. And I hope that by showing you this, you know, manic, thought process of mine and a bit of like a frantic try on dress up sort of video that it helps you in your life. I just hope that you can give yourself the permission to be everything that you are and to love yourself in your wholeness, not just the parts of you that you want people to see, but also the parts of you that are hidden and that aren't ready to be seen. I hope you can love that as well. I will talk to you very soon. I love you all so much. And I hope you have a great week or weekend or whenever you're watching this video. Okay, bye. This is Mila being a good girl in my giant pile of clothes. And here's this guy. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? You chewing on something you're not supposed to? What are you doing? You're gonna wag his tail. What are you doing? Crazy guy.